Hello guys and welcome to another video. What we have on the bench today belongs to a friend. It's an old uh, 1084 Commodore classic color monitor. Uh, it's a friend that it is not in operation. We should fix it. We should change the high voltage transformer today and my friend then will be happy and um, as for myself I will be proud so let's get down to fixing this what do you say in uh, the early days you, you could use them as TV uh, at the same time like a computer monitor I um, use an external tuner um, you could uh, hook up your Atari ST, you could hook up your Amiga, of course, your Commodore 64, and so on and so forth. So, this is an iconic model, really. Uh, it's not uh, unusual to have the front panel cover missing and broken. And it's a, it, it, it is a classic, uh, well-known situation, and a classic, well-known monitor. Uh, like I said, a workhorse for video signals. <clears throat> now uh, I'm going to um, unscrew the back cover and uh, start with the transformer uh, transplant, the flyback transformer transplant. Why do I believe that this is the case? Because it was making weird, uh, significant, uh, and distinctive uh, buzzing sounds coming from the uh, rear. Uh, where the transformer sits and uh, this is something like an indication number one that uh, flyback go, uh, has gone bad the, um, the other thing is that there was no absolutely no uh, um, light or brightness or something on the screen while I was uh, trying to test it with um, with a game uh, while on the other hand you could uh, hear the sound so the rest of the circuit is okay supposedly and uh, sound, uh, the sound could uh, come out to on the speaker and then nothing pops up on the screen like like nothing and pitch black and not an indication of light or brightness or something so my uh, and of course uh, flybacks are notorious um, um, components in failing uh, over time. It's not uh, unusual. It's 25,000 volts or something they were talking about, and they have seen heavy use and heavy gaming uh, experience so far, I believe. So I'm going to open it up, uh, remove the cover, and locate the um, uh, the corner. I think it is the left hand side corner, the way we see it. Uh, where the transformer sits and start with a delicate um, uh, this delicate operation in order to discharge the, the transformer first which is pretty uh, pretty hazardous and um, yeah uh, something that we need to always pay attention to how to do it if we don't know what we're doing we shouldn't do it uh, like I said, it's uh, uh, 25,000 volts around in this area or, or more. And um, one thing to do, one uh, tip I can give is that I have left this device here sitting in the lab for more than a month, waiting for this day, uh, off-grid of course, because I want it to be discharged naturally in somehow if, if in um in a in a month something like this could happen and so after a month i'm going to discharge it with a screwdriver and a ground connection and then start with the operation of the uh, transformer removal and uh, transformer replacement so let's get started with it okay now the cover the back cover has been removed um, the speaker uh, socket uh, has been removed and we have the naked truth here in front of our eyes 
Um, <clears throat> the most difficult part now <clears throat> is to short circuit um, the contacts that are inside the tube and so we are using a, a big screwdriver a contact with an alligator clip like this which goes directly to ground connection and by the time <clears throat> you should uh, short circuit in order in order to uh, see if there is any voltage left inside the transformer you might hear uh, a spark sound or something like that now since uh, it was done you cannot see it happening in now one thing that this is very dangerous of course because we're talking thousands of volts around this area one good uh, practice is to have the monitor um, off the grid for more than a month and then <clears throat> uh, the, le the more uh, time spent off the grid the less electricity will be uh, around the tube um, area and the transformer itself so now that we are safe I have to remove the tube uh, cable I will try to locate I don't know where is somewhere around here is the new transformer and I'm going to um, conduct this uh, transplant oops so I'll be back in the class and so I managed to find the new transformer without it I couldn't do much so we have uh, to deal with uh, what three uh, six to eight contact points and the new high voltage um, tube uh, connector here the old one is still here needs to be removed along with the old transformer somewhere down there and on the back side the good news is that we have the schematic so like the the bottom part of the transformer so we know exactly where it goes where and uh, you cannot do it the other way around because you only have two contacts over here three over here so you cannot sh uh, swap or swift or do whatever it can only be placed the right way um, so I need to one two three four five six seven eight nine in com in total contacts here I need to desolder and remove the old um, uh, transformer the guy right somewhere in there and then I'm going to simply put this on and I have made a schematic here so we know exactly how they match the old and the new apparently they are absolutely the same bottom part and contacts like a part number same this will do the job so by the end of uh, the, this evening hopefully we should be able to play colorful wonderful retro games on my Commodore so bear with me and um, as I'm gonna do the desolder I'm gonna uh, skip some parts uh, some boring uh, soldering and I'll be back in a flash so the old and the new are not uh, exactly the same this one has a couple of the old one has a couple of plastic flaps to be fastened over the PCB <clears throat> well this one the new one doesn't have the same has a bit of different orientation for the other two cables uh, apart from the high voltage one the red one and in, on the new one all cables are red what can I say I might be able to to measure put in continuity my multimeter and test 
the other two cables to do here on the old transformer were gray and uh, the high voltage one was the tube one was red and all in the, on the new one all cables are red what can i say okay i will i will try to measure which is which and where to put them and uh, I'll be placing the new transformer over this PCB on, on over this position here. Empty space waiting for you, pal. And I'll be back in a flash. So here we have created the the holes to uh, put the new transformer the old transformer is off now I should probably remove a couple of cables more and we'll be ready to put the new one in here in such a way so we have two yeah like like this it will be under uh, the PCB and will be fastened by these two little plastic things. Do we have them? No, not on this one. This one is a bit uh, different. Mm. Anyways. Now, I'm not sure those two are identical. I'm, I'm pretty sure by the manufacturer that it is the same transformer we're talking about, but we have some con uh, some differences. For example, pin 5 and 6 supposedly are uh, to tied together under the PCB, but um, Pin 5 is so thick, it's not like this, this is uh, 5 up here and 6 or it's the other way around. Let's see. Uh, it's Okay, this is 6 up here and 5 are so about the same thickness to go and uh, sit and rest over the PCB, but uh, in the case of a new transformer, the um, pin 6 here, I needed to bend it over and connect it, solder it with 5, because it was so thick that it couldn't go through. Anyways, I hope that that was all and will be done in a, in a while, because I can see difference in plastic the position of the wires and the colors, uh, the uh, coloring of the wires. So I'm guessing the, of course, this model is 1084 and this is supposedly made for 1084S. I'm not sure, probably, but uh, the, the main um, item, the material, the component is the same, it's the same transformer here, we need to adjust some things, like this short circuit here and a bit of plastic uh, glue or whatever I need to put here and uh, I think it, it will do the job, the same job apart from contractual differences this should be the same, so uh, let me solder it and uh, on the PCB here waiting right in there right in there it will be uh, placed and I'll be back in a flash okay so we have the new transformer in place somewhere here <clears throat> the pattern was the same but 
not exactly like um, I, I need to rearrange some the position of some by little adjustments to the those legs on the new um, transformer but uh, somehow after half an hour <laughs> I managed to fit it right this is the one that it was bent but it was the same like um, 5 or 6 common so underneath the PCB those are short um, together um, joined together and the rest are as expected now the two red um, new cables have no jacks and no uh, terminal um, plastic uh, sockets whatever so the only thing I can do for now is to cut the old ones this one and this one which actually were grey and do it manually with some duct tape because those uh, should have sockets to be uh, placed on the CRT PCB board right here. Anyways, I will do it the old school way by hand or solder it right here and the other one right there. And let's do uh, the outcome in a while. So I'll see you in a while, guys. So after replacing the transformer. The good news is that nothing has blown up, but we have a very bright image and I guess we should adjust something more um, somewhere around here. Probably it's on the transformer itself and then we can uh, bring it down to normal brightness and uh, adjust the contrast and all that. So the transformer has two potentiometers on the back side and we need to counterclockwise adjust the one that is marked as screen to lower the voltage that goes on the CRT and we have now the brightness back to normal. So for the time being I'm getting image from an old uh, PC XT which has composite output and I'm trying to tune this monitor the right way in order to have crystal clear and sharp crispy images and I'm trying to do this by displaying text which is not right I should get a a game, a handheld game or something, a source of uh, compositing uh, signal and sound to check the colors as well. 